but I have one question. When we meet next year? Inshallah. <laughs> Sir, the next question is. Finish, you know, every year, at least we, we, we should have a one lecture looking. Inshallah. <laughs> he does everything. Yes, yes, yes. Agree. What is the importance of alkaline and acidic food for our health? Alkaline food is good, but don't do much of alkaline. Best alkaline food, I tell you, you drink your water, no? Just whatever water container you got, cut a fresh lime, wash it nicely and put a few pieces into that, that is become alkaline water and that will be very good for you and very nice. Actually, there, there are now companies in Russia selling alkaline water, don't, no, that's all not needed. This is simple, very, very good, no? Put this lime, piece, small pieces into that water reservoir. Sir, Sir. what is your opinion about beta block? Beta blocker and yes, in need beta. <laughs> they are good drugs. Because the books say that, but when I look at it, they are not such good drugs, so they must be used very sparingly. Because don't block any system in the human body, it has side effects. Because we had a theory some time ago that if you surgery, you know, after surgery some people die, if you give the beta blockers before surgery, they will never die. So we did a promise study where we gave 50 milligrams of propranol, metaprolol, before, one week before surgery, one week after surgery, and and we found 37% more people die because surgery is a stress. At that time, you leave the autonomic nervous system. If you are blocked, it is stress. Supposing you are on very heavy dose of beta blocker and meet with an accident, the recovery will be less than the normal person who has not come. I am not. I have not said beta blockers are bad. In such cases, we need beta blockers very badly. We use them. But let it be. You know, parsimonious. You know, parsimony is a very good word. That's a Scottish word. They don't like being stingy, parsimonious in using your drugs. There was a joke about that. A wife was insisting the husband to go for a checkup. He went for a checkup, paid the doctor the bill. Then the doctor gave a big list of medicines. He went to the pharmacy, bought all that. And they came home. Wife was very happy. But she saw suddenly he was throwing it in the waste paper basket. So she was very angry. You missed so much money to the doctor, so much money to the pharmacist. And you are throwing it away. Honey, listen to me. If I don't go to the doctor and pay him, he has to survive. If I don't go to the pharmacist, he has to survive. If I don't throw it, I have to survive. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> so how early osteoarthritis can be treated with energy system or Sorry? without medicine? Osteoarthritis can be treated with energy system or without medicine? Good. Actually, every painkiller, if you are using for osteoarthritis, you know the painkiller kills. Because now we know every painkiller is a stimulant for a heart attack in the next five years. So, use as less painkillers as possible. I used to New York University Hospital, they use osteoarthritis, a simple treatment which our pundits used to use in the old days. They take castor oil, you know, castor oil. They dip a thick cloth in castor oil, squeeze it and tie it around the joints which is painful and give steam there, not hot water bottle because it's not 100 degrees, steam there. And I tell you, 90% of the pain goes away, very effective. And of course, we, we have a device, uh, electromagnetic device, which can be kept there and it will open up the blood vessels and the pain will go gradually, but it will take time. But this one will immediately kill the flow of it Because there is an enzyme inside called heat shock protein 70, HSP 70. And this heat will stimulate that and then the vessels open and the new blood vessels come and the patient feels better. We would love to know about that device which you have in mind. Don't worry about that device. Now I am what uh, that device of course is an electromagnetic energy producing device which can be used for heart attack, stroke, everything. But what I am now trying to do is devise a jacket and a belt for normal human beings who are in the IT industry. Because they are getting only 40 to 70 hertz energy and killing themselves. So I'll give them 0 to 30 like the earth gives you because they don't walk barefoot. They don't swim. So I have to give them a belt they like it. So I'm trying to getting it. Uh, it's almost ready. So we are, you know, we are doing that. In North India, you can use the jacket. The, in South India, it's very warm to use the jacket. So we give them a belt. As M farm students, what can we do for better? 
Empower the students can, you know, I have, I have written an article is for the health of the pharmaceutical industry because reductionist chemicals that you are studying now, they are all dextro-rotatory and body molecules are levo-rotatory. So it is a square plug in a round hole. Now, all herbal medicines, which I will give you a reference if you want, read this, write down. Mitochondria as chi, C H I, C is energy. Mitochondria as chi. Okay. Author's name is Douglas C. Wallace. Douglas C. Wallace. W A L L A C E. And the journal is Genetics. Genetics. Year is 2008. Volume is 179 and page is 727. Read this article. What it tells you is, what it tells you is, he has a chip called MIT chip, which studies at the mitochondria level, which you can imagine. You give a reduction in drug, it, the minute it goes to the stomach and the body knows it, it says, oh, this is poison, I don't know what it is, so throw it into the liver. So it damages the liver and the liver tries to damage the drug. And what comes out, you studied in your textbook called first positive. Right? Do you know first pass effect? No? Oh, well, pharmacy, you are doing pharmacy and don't know first pass effect? You know first pass effect. Okay, don't worry. Now, he gave herbal drugs, Tibetan, Chinese and Indian. And when it goes inside, it's levorotatory. That means it's like food. So the body said, oh, it's my food, I will use it. So it doesn't go to the liver, it does it in the good deep with us. Now I told the pharmacy people, don't do this golden triangle reverse thing. You take a herb and say, it, uh, I will know it, I will try study it in the best and way. No. You take a herb, study that directly on human beings because the toxicology is already studied. And you study the, the original pharmacology of which is called uh, Dhruvya Shastra in Ayurveda. And then you do your human studies or animal studies on that. And then you know you can, toxicity you want to study, you can do animal studies. <coughs> For example, we did a study on nano silver. You know, if you, you, you can get silver in nano form because our old grannies used to say drink water in a silver cup. In temples, they keep the teeth in silver bowl because no germ survives in silver. And we did nano silver. We have a technique of doing nano silver because water is a structure which is found out recently. It's a lot of loose bonds. So in the bond, we put a silver. And this is so effective on so many tricks. In malaria, for example. You know, I wanted this study for malaria in the Malaria Research Institute in uh, Delhi. The director said, no, this is all bullshit, this is all you know, rubbish. So I told him, sir, please do it and let us see. He, said, he refused. Then after some time, he wanted some help from me because his daughter was not getting a medical seat. He wanted to, she wanted to be a doctor. He came to me. He said, will you some help me to get a medical seat? I said, I have help provided you study this. 